Fonts, also called typefaces, are the families of shapes which make up a specific style of lettering. In this lesson, we will be learning all about fonts and how to use them in HTML. Also, we will be covering a few of the hundreds of special symbols that are available to you. Though the font tag is not supported in HTML5, the latest HTML specification, there are still plenty of websites and browsers which continue to support this tag. What you learn here about fonts will help you understand the upcoming lessons in CSS. The basics of typefaces do not change. The syntax will change slightly. We learned in the last lesson about bold and italic. These are forms of emphasis which can be applied to any typeface family. For instance, here are examples of Arial Regular, Italic, Bold, and Bold Italic. And here are examples of Times New Roman Regular, Italic, Bold, and Bold Italic. The baseline of a line of type is what the flat bottom capital letters would sit on some lowercase letters, G, J, P, Q, Y, have parts that descend below the baseline. These are called descenders. Some lowercase letters have parts which extend up above the shortest letters, B, D, F, H, K, L, T. These are called ascenders. Between the ascenders and descenders is called the X height. Of the font. Some fonts have relatively large X heights compared to the capitals and are thus a little easier to read. For instance, Palatino Linotype. Others may have small X heights compared to the capitals, making them a little more difficult to read. For instance, Papyrus. Most typefaces come in one or another style called serif or sans serif. Sans merely means without, as if the serifs have been sanded off. Other typefaces are called novelty faces because they are used more for display type in order to create a certain mood or feeling. Some examples of serifs, Times New Roman, Garamond, Palatino Linotype. Some examples of sans serif, Arial, Futura, Verdana, and some examples of novelty typefaces, Monotype Corsiva, Pepita, Papyrus, and Vivaldi. Not all computers have the typefaces Arial or Times New Roman. Typically, the fonts used in displaying a web page come from the client or user computer, not from the web hosting server. Because of this, you have little control over the actual typeface used. What you can control are to suggest a hierarchy of choices, ending with either serif or sans serif. The attributes for the font tag are color, face, and size. We will be going over the use of color in the next lesson. We will use a little color here, though. Size is a number from 1 to 7. The browser default is 3. The following is an example of font tag use. If a font name contains a space, it needs to be placed in quotes. Since the font names are already in double quotes, then you need to enclose the two-part font name in single quotes. We have already encountered two special symbols in earlier lessons. One of these is the non-breaking space. Though it is not itself visible, it does create a visible effect on keeping two words together. We also saw the copyright symbol. The following is a very short sample of a very long list of available symbols used for punctuation, currency, letter diacritics, and much more. Now get ready for your action item. Open up your articles file, articles.html. If you've added an H2 heading for articles, 
place the following code and text after it. If you have a paragraph just after the heading, place this code and text after that as well. Okay, then save and close. And double click to display in your browser. The next lesson will go in depth into the subject of color.